We have one very final special recognition today. And at this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Jeffrey Ferguson, Superintendent of Town City Schools, to begin this presentation. Ms. Ferguson. Good afternoon, Talmadge High School. We have one final award to give this fall, and it's an award that would bring out many distinguished guests to come and see this award. So I want to introduce a couple of our distinguished guests here on the floor that are here to share this special occasion with us at Talmadge High School. So I'd like to introduce, first of all, from the state Talmadge Ohio, or from the Ohio PTA, the Director of Education, Joe Vitrano. From the State Board of Education member, Sarah Fowler. From the Talmadge Board of Education, Mr. Chris Taiwan. <laughs> Vice President, Christine Sippa. <laughs> Board President, Richard Keller. The Honorable Mayor, Dave Klein. State Representative, Zach Milkovich. State Senator, Tom Sawyer. And our final guest who will be helping us with the presentation, the Ohio State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Dr. Richard Ross. <laughs> Dr. Richard Ross has a passion for improving education across Ohio. This passion is rooted in his own childhood experience when a teacher inspired him to pursue a college degree. He has carried this memory throughout his career as a teacher, principal, and superintendent. Please welcome the 37th State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Dr. Richard Ross. Good afternoon. I want to thank Superintendent Ferguson, but I'm here really to uh, congratulate Talmadge High School because I understand that you had straight A report card. Is that right? I suggested to Superintendent Ferguson that we ought to hand out $10 bills as they leave. He said, well, maybe we'll come up with some other incentives, but so, but you're to be congratulated and, and the great job that Mr. Householder, your teachers, and you are doing to reach that accomplishment. And you reach that because, and you're setting an example for other students and schools around the state as you reach that high achievement. But that's not why I'm here. And I would like at this time to have my good friends, Representative Milkovich and Senator Sawyer, come forward if they would join me with uh, Board of Ed President Rick Keller. And at this time, at this time, I also would like to have Lori McKaylick come down, if she would at this time. Where's Lori?
the reason the reason I'm here is because I know that quality teachers move the needle. Quality teachers make all the difference. Superintendent Ferguson talked about a teacher that made all the difference in the world to me. A high school Latin teacher that made sure that I was inspired with a kick in the seat of the pants and with a gift to start me to college when I was going other places. And I can assure you I would not be state superintendent today if it was not for Mrs. Heller. She was a red-haired, fiery Latin teacher, and I love her to death, and she made all the difference in the world to me. Teachers move the needle. They inspire their students to achieve beyond their expectations. They allow students to see potential in themselves that they don't see themselves. So, Roy, your district, the principal, your fellow teachers, the students, and the State Board of Education recognize you as one of those very high quality teachers. And that's why we've named you Ohio's Teacher of the Year this year. The state, the state Board selected Lori from 11 Regional Teacher of the Year winners in Ohio. We had 11. She was selected from that 11, which is quite an honor. One of the things that we like so much is she's so passionate, passionate about transferring her love of reading and writing to every student at every level. And would you say that would be true from your experience with here? Is that true? I've seen the skills that students need after high school, and I think Lori is driving in on the analytical skills in reading, your observations, your ability to express yourself in writing, whether you're an IT person, a chef, or whatever. But I want to tell you, one of Lori's former students, now an engineer, wrote, while I may never have to write an essay professionally, the analytical and critical thinking skills learned in her classroom, her English classrooms, will influence my academic development for all the years to come. And that's probably the greatest legacy there is for a teacher. Another thing that I'd like to say is that she encouraged her fellow educators to continue learning about writing. And she's been a leader mentoring new teachers so they're better able to meet your needs and allow you to learn and grow. She also looks at the big picture. I'm really impressed that the writing center in your school that she's helped establish with Kent State University, her goal has been to help you be ready for college when you get there, and that's a caring teacher, and I'm sure you're going to be ready. And I urge you all to take advantage of everything that writing center has to offer. And think of it as a gift from her to you. And that's, again, the gift that I think about that I receive from Mrs. Heller and, and that made all the difference in the world to me. So Roy, I've already given you the award and, and for recognition for your efforts as T Ohio Teacher of the Year in 2015. And I'd like to present a, a do we have a banner? I think we have, there we go. And, uh, but I would like as we unfurl this, are some of your students here, Roy, that they can come down? I'd like the students to be down here. Students? Oh. <laughs> Come on down, please. This is, yes. Yes.
is the most appropriate picture for the Ohio Teacher of the Year for 2015. Congratulations. Let's take the photo. you to maybe say a few words if you would and uh, I think there's a presentation here also. I think I'm actually speechless. So I'm just going to say thank you Mrs. DiCaprio for the nomination, Superintendent Ferguson for the lovely letter of recommendation you wrote for my students. I love you guys and you know that. So thank you very much. You look great. I'm Rick Keller, President of the School Board, and on behalf of my fellow board members, Mayor Dave Klein, the citizens of Talmadge, our awesome kids, how does it feel to be number one in the state? Pretty damn good. Congratulations, bro. Well, I can hold it for you. Okay, so I've been asked to say a few more words, but here's the thing. I'm a crier. I'm going to start crying. Um, I'm really going to have a hard time saying <laughs> This is part of that passion for you students. That is why we selected her as Teacher of the Year. I cried in my interview, I did, just a little bit, and I had to stop talking. Um, I just appreciate the district. There's so much camaraderie. I have the best colleagues in the world, the best administrators, and I do. I feel like we have the best students here. And so I appreciate how much that you all do for each other and what the community does for this district. It's always been my passion to want to give back to a community. This isn't the community I grew up in, but this is what I call home. So I might live eight minutes down the road in Akron, but Talmadge is my home, so I'm very happy and very humble. Thank you. We also have the 2014, the 2014 Teacher of the Year, Deb McDonald, to present that also with Delory. <laughs> Senator, do you have some? Sure. I know they're on a time frame, but <laughs> people ask me often, you used to be an English teacher, didn't you? And I say, no. If you've ever really been a teacher, you're always a teacher. I feel like I'm still a teacher today, and when I see people like Lori, I'm glad of it makes me very proud. It's the hardest job I've ever had. It's the best job I've ever had. And I try to continue to do it every day of my life. Thank you for the chance to be here for this important ceremony, this great celebration of a great contributor to our community and to our state and to our nation. Congratulations again. I look forward to working with you during the year. Superintendent, it's great to be in Talmadge. It's my first time here. It's a beautiful place. I heard all the recognition. You should be very proud. I'm very proud of what I heard. I wish you the best, and God bless you all. Thank you. Great to celebrate the Teacher of the Year. It's probably my favorite day of the year when I can go out and acknowledge the difference a, a teacher, a particular teacher made, and she represents so many great teachers that we have in the state of Ohio. It's personal for me because of an example I had and a Latin teacher that made all the difference in the world to me when I was in high school. Uh, after my father passed away, I was kind of wavering what happens sometimes, and I had this Mrs. Hellridge grab me and kick me to see the pants and said, you are going to college and I'm going to give you a gift to get you started. She made the difference. I wouldn't be state superintendent today. It puts a high, highest 
spot in my heart for teachers in this state because I think they make all the difference and I can say personally they made all the difference for me. Yeah, Rick Keller, president of the Talmadge City School School Board. Um, Laurie, we're real excited that you won this award today. It's nice to be number one in the state. You know, a little town in northeastern Ohio called Talmadge, Ohio, kind of a small district. We always play big on the sports field. Our kids academically do awesome, and part of that is because of the great work that you've done. It's exciting to have this recognition land here in Talmadge, Ohio. I know they've been recognizing folks since about 1969, and it's awesome to bring this award here home to Talmadge. Thanks. <laughs> I just want to congratulate Lori Michalik on Teacher of the Year. It's just a great honor, number one, for Lori, but also for the hard work that she does at Talmadge High School and for the, all the students that have had her through the years. So again, I want to congratulate her and thank her. I'm just extremely grateful for the privilege of working with the students in this district, the incredible staff and administrators. So I'm just overwhelmed. Um, as I said earlier, my heart is just bursting. So I'm, I'm humble, but very proud at the same time. And I'm just very grateful. So I do appreciate everyone's support. And I just want to continue to do my best. <laughs>